Hi everyone, my name is Christine from Ruffner Mountain and today we're going to be talking about moths in celebration of National Moth Week. So we're going to learn a little bit about moths and how they are different from butterflies. First, moths are in the phylum of Arthropoda, the class of Insecta, and the order of Lepidoptera. This means that they have a proboscis, which is a sucking-like mouth part, similar to this picture here, and that allows them to eat. They also have four wings that are made of chitin, and they have a larva stage that is caterpillar-like. That also means that they undergo a complete metamorphosis for their life cycle. So moths and butterflies undergo complete metamorphosis. That means that their life cycle includes the eggs stage, then they go into their larva stage, which is when they're a caterpillar, and they're very active during that stage, and then they go into an inactive pupa stage, and then lastly, they emerge as their adult moth form. Now this is different from some insects that go through incomplete metamorphosis, such as dragonflies and cicadas. They skip these two stages and have a nymph stage instead, and that's like a miniature adult. So they go through egg, nymph, and then adult stage. So now that we've had an introduction about moths, we're gonna talk about how they are different from butterflies. First, they have very different antenna. Butterflies have club-like antenna, whereas moth antenna are non-clubbed and varied. So the first type of moth antenna we have is filiform antenna. Filiform are thin antenna with cross sections throughout the antenna. We also have pectinate antenna. Pectinate antenna has comb-like structures on one side of the antenna. And lastly, we have bipectinate antenna. These are really unique antenna and have comb-like structures on both sides of the antenna. They also resemble feathers. Another difference between moths and butterflies are that butterflies typically fly during the daytime, whereas moths are generally coming out at night to fly. Now there are exceptions to all rules in nature, but this is something you can look out for. Another difference is that while resting, moths typically have their wings outright or tinted back. When butterflies are resting, they usually have their wings together closed behind them on their bodies. Scientists estimate that there are over 160,000 species of moths found worldwide, and that compares to only about 17,500 species of butterflies. So all in all, that's almost 10 times more moth species found worldwide than butterflies, and that's a lot. So here we're gonna see the different common moth families. You'll see some familiar moth families such as our silk moths and our hawk moths, but some unfamiliar ones might be this interesting plume moth as well as this clear wing borer. We're going to discover three different moth species that you can find here at Ruffner a little more up close. So here is the polyphemus moth. The polyphemus moth has two eye-like patterns here on its underwings. And it's actually named after the Greek god Polyphemus, which was a cyclops. Next we have our Parasachloris moth. This is a smaller moth, much smaller, but it's actually a slug-like moth, meaning its larva stage or caterpillar looks like a slug. We also have our Catacalla ilia moth, the ilia underwing, which has this beautiful pattern on the underwings, and its larva, its caterpillar larva, looks pretty unique as well. Camouflage really, really well. So that's it for Moths 101. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, you can comment below on your favorite moth. Uh, feel free to check out our Facebook page as well as our Instagram for more moth activities and resources. And you can also visit nationalmothweek.org for some more fun activities. Thank you.